All right, let's dive right in, shall we? Massage chairs. Mm -hmm. Specifically, Infinity versus Osaki. You've clearly been doing your homework, got articles, notes, even looks like showroom visits. And that's smart. This isn't a decision to be made lightly. Like, anyone can grab a back massager off the shelf, but you're talking real investment here, right? Yeah. Finding what fits, not just what's flashy. Exactly. You gave us, what is this, one, two... A very thorough comparison article. Very data heavy. PLUS, your own notes. Dedication. Got to make sure we're working with all the info here. Before we even get into Infinity versus Osaki, it's like, imagine you're buying a car. Okay, I see where you're going with this. You wouldn't just pick the first shiny one, right? SUV sedan, mm. little two-seater, massage chair, same deal. Got to know the features before the brands even matter. Absolutely. So first things first, massage techniques themselves. We're talking kneading, rolling, shiatsu. It's not just one type of massage you're getting. Some even do that, what is it, long stroke Swedish thing. Right, right. Okay, so variety's on the table. What about this whole zero gravity thing? Is that just a fancy term they throw around? Oh, no, 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 it's an actual positioning thing. Think like astronaut, weightless, takes pressure off the spine, huge for back pain, or honestly, even just relaxation. Okay, that makes more sense than I thought, honestly. So what actually makes these things work? Like airbags versus rollers, what's the deal there? So airbags, Think of them like compression, gentle squeezing, good for circulation, loosening up. Rollers, now you're mimicking a person's hands. 2D is just up and down. 3D gets you that in and out for deeper pressure. And then there's 4D. Hold on, F or D, the, like how many dimensions can there be? They get fancy. 4D means it can change speed, intensity, all within that movement. Point is, it's not just picking a brand, it's knowing these core things first. Makes total sense. So we've got our basics down, let's talk infinity. Luxury brand, they call them. Hype or truth? Right, because a big price tag doesn't always mean luxury, does it? Infinity is interesting because they do invest heavily in the design, materials. Think like high-end car leather. Those sleek lines, controls that make sense. Mm. It's an experience. I'm picturing those chairs you only see in like fancy hotel lobbies, honestly. But looks aside, what about the actual massage part? Their thing is the roller tech. Especially <laughs> those 3D, 4D ones we talked about. They're trying to like truly mammying human hands. That level of precision, it's impressive. And I'm guessing that tech doesn't come cheap. What are we talking, ballpark for one of these? Let's just say it's an investment, not a casual purchase. Their flagship model, the Infinity IT 8500 X3 4D Massage, zero gravity, even scans your body to personalize it. Top of the line, but you'll pay for it. Now, they're not all crazy expensive. The Infinity Riage CS, that one's for smaller spaces, but it doesn't skimp on the massage itself, if that makes sense. So there's an Infinity option even if you, you know, haven't won the lottery yet. Exactly. But now, let's talk Osaki. If Infinity is our luxury car, where does that leave them? So, Osaki, if Infinity's the luxury sedan, what are we comparing it to? A pickup truck? Minivan? What's the Osaki vibe? Okay, I like this analogy. I'd say, think of that reliable car. Gets you where you need to go, no fuss. Maybe not flashy, but it works. Yeah. That's Osaki's solid features, yeah. but their price tag isn't going to make you faint. Value for money. Got it. But... <laughs> Does that mean they're skimping on quality to get that price down? Got to be a trade-off somewhere. Not necessarily. Design-wise, yeah, maybe not as fancy as Infinity. Mm -hmm. But the massage itself, no, they take it seriously. Even those 40 rollers we talked about, Osaki's got them. Higher-end models, sure, but less than you'd pay from Infinity for the same tech. Interesting. So they're saying you don't have to drop a fortune to get a good massage experience. Okay, but let's be real. How do they actually feel? Massage quality head-to-head, -head, let's break it down. All right, let's do it. Infinity first, they're known to be intense especially those 3D, 4D models. They dig in, work out those knots, no joke. I can imagine. But is there such a thing as too intense? Like, I love spicy food, but sometimes it's just painful, you know? Perfect analogy. Intensity isn't the goal for everyone. Some folks want that deep tissue. Others want to melt into the chair. Personal preference matters. Osaki, generally, they're gentler, especially their basic models. So more your relaxing, therapeutic type of massage, not so much like a workout for your back. Right. But here's where it gets interesting. Their higher-end stuff, like that Osaki OS Pro Maestro that can compete with Infinity on intensity, no problem. It's about finding the right model within the brand, too, not just brand loyalty. Okay, so massage itself can't just generalize. Now, the elephant in the room, price we keep dancing around it, but let's be real. How different are we talking? There's no way around it. Infinity will be pricier, generally. 
you're paying for the name, the materials, the tech we talked about. But T, interesting thing our research showed, they hold their value better too. Oh, like buying a car with better resale. Pay more now, but get more back later if you ever sell it. Exactly. Ofaki, you're getting more bang for your B-U-C-K right now. Features for the price, that's their whole thing, making it accessible. So if budget's tight, but I want a good chair, Osaki's worth a look. If I want the best, money no object, Infinity's probably it. Exactly. Budget and priorities. Got to line those two. Now switching gears a bit, customizations. Both brands do it, but how they do it is very different. Okay, this is where I get picky. I love options, so tell me everything. Infinity's gone high tech with it. <laughs> like pre-programmed massages for everything, deep tissue, sports recovery, you name it body scanning so it literally maps your shape some even have apps wait hold on an app for your massage chair like start it from the couch that's wild it's the future osaki now they're more traditional old reliable like we said buttons dials if it ain't broke you got it plenty of adjustments but it's hands-on not touch screen and all that which some people actually prefer less intimidating Preference, again, right? So Infinity's like a gadget and a chair. Osaki's pure massage focus, keeping it simple. What else should we be thinking about to help our listener choose? Good point. We've covered a lot, but durability matters. Infinity, because they use such top-notch stuff, those chairs last, especially with regular use. So if I'm going to live in this thing, Infinity's the sturdier bet. They're built for it. Osaki's well-made, don't get me wrong, especially their pricier ones, but day in, day out, year after year, Infinity might have the edge there. Factor in how much use it'll actually get. Okay, yeah. noted. Anything else our listeners should have on their radar? We touched on extras heat, Bluetooth speakers, all that. Infinity loves to pack those in, gotta say. Bells and whistles for those who like them. Exactly. Well, Soggy's more about that core massage experience, not so much the extras. Again, value, no, right. What matters to you personally? This has been so helpful, but it's a lot to take in. Techniques, prices, customization, how does our listener actually choose? It is a lot. Don't want to overwhelm anyone. So someone listening, ready to buy but feeling overloaded, what's the takeaway for them? How do they actually choose? It's like, okay, imagine finding the perfect pair of shoes. Right. Both these brands, Infinity Osaki, they make good chairs. The best one just means what fits you best. No winner. Just the right fit for the person who's actually going to be in the chair. I like it. Exactly. So recap time. You're listening thinking... Money's no object. Give me the best tech there is. Infinity's calling your name, probably. That experience, the looks, they've got it. <laughs> but maybe you're on a budget. You're like, I need this thing to work, not run my smart home. Osaki's worth a serious look then. Back to our car thing. Workhorse versus sports car. Depends what you need it for. And here's the thing about massage chairs. Tough to get across just talking about them. You're going to say it, aren't you? Got to try them out. Knew you were on the same page. Yeah. Specs only tell you so much. Chair could feel amazing to me, torture to you. Subjective, totally. That's why they have those showrooms, right? See them in person, but really sit in them, feel it for yourself. And don't rush it. Mm -hmm. Most places you can book a time slot, no pressure. Like test driving the car before you sign. Love that advice. Do your homework, listen to us, narrow it down, then seal the deal by actually trying them out. Exactly. Investment in your well-being, make it count. Absolutely. So, Team Infinity, Camp Wasaki, wherever you land, hope this helped you get there. Happy relaxing, everyone.